Hey guys, Steve here, W0KNI, and it's the beginning of the year, and what a better time to go through your go bag than now. If you're just getting started in ham radio, then you've come to the right place. Stay tuned as I go through my ham radio go bag and show you what items I carry around. Have fun doing summits on the air, parks on the air, or just out hiking about and want to practice setting up the radio. Now today I want to share with you what I have in my go bag. So maybe give you some ideas of things that you don't have. And I hope throughout this video you'll take a minute and give me some feedback and share what you have in your go bag that you think I'm missing. I'm always open for suggestions. And stick around for a couple items you might want to add to your go bag if you have the room. The contents of your go bag can really be broken down into three categories. Your radio, power you're going to use to power your radio, and your antenna system. For the radio, I'm using a Yaesu FT891. It's a great performer, 100 watts, pretty lightweight, under 10 pounds. This is the heaviest item in my backpack. But it's really durable, easy to take care of, easy to carry around. Now, speaking of battery, I use this Miati 8 amp battery. This is a great battery I picked up on Amazon. It was less than $30. It's kind of hard to find now at that price, but it's definitely a performer. At 100 watts, I can go about an hour and a half on single sideband, and that's transmitting quite a bit to try to get attention. Now, if I lower that wattage down to 75, then I can easily go several hours. For my antenna system, well, if you've seen my videos, then you know I really like a dipole. And for my antenna, I carry a trusty 20 meter dipole. And with that dipole, I also carry two lengths of coax cable. I'm using a 40 foot and a 25 foot coax of RG8X. This is a pretty good performer. It's flexible, not stiff. It is a little on the heavy side carrying that much, but if I need that extra length, then I've got it. The next thing I carry around with me is the paracord, winders, and a throw weight. Now I use that throw weight to get that paracord up in the air. From there, I'll tie it down with some trusty tent stakes. I carry these yellow plastic tent stakes. You can pick them up on Amazon. You can find them at Home Depot, just about anywhere. They're really lightweight, durable, and very cheap. I use this paracord with a couple of custom-made 3D printed parts and I have about 75 feet of paracord wound on it. And to get the paracord up in the air, I use a 12 ounce arbor weight from Weaver. I also, as optional items, I carry a pair of gloves. Now these gloves are really handy when it comes to throwing that paracord up in the trees. That cord slips through your fingers, often because of the friction, because of the texture, it can burn your fingers. So a pair of gloves is, is really nice to have. Now optional things you can take, a Parks on the Air pamphlet. I carry this around. So if someone comes up to me and is curious what I'm doing, I can hand them that pamphlet as an educational brochure. Also, if any ranger shows up, they like to see what we're doing, like to know a little bit more about it. If I'm not going too far onto the trail, I'll take my laptop with me. But if I can't take my laptop, then I definitely carry around pencil, pen, and paper logs. You just can't go wrong with those. So here are two things you might want to consider adding to your go bag. One could replace something, and the other one is just nice to have. The first one is a dedicated antenna analyzer. In my case, I have the Rig Expert A55 Zoom. This is a great antenna analyzer to carry around. It's really lightweight, really durable, weatherproof, and really gets the job done. Now I realize you could use your SWR meter on your radio, but you can't get more accurate than this. The next item I would suggest is a dedicated standalone antenna. The Betty Pole has been an awesome antenna, and you don't have to worry about finding trees to anchor your dipole or your end fed half wave up in the air. With a dedicated buddy pole antenna, this vertical gets me all the way across the United States with 100 watts of power. Hey guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I had a great time sharing what I have in my go bag. And if you have time, don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you got in yours. I'd love to hear about something that you have that'd be really cool that I could add to mine. So till next time, W0K and I clear.